so with, with this question the first thing that you should take note of is that the quantity of electricity that was supplied in both cells is the same so the quantity of electricity and the other thing is that the period of time is the same in both um, cases so um, what is the quantity of electricity okay the quantity of electricity is actually current and when they talk of time and current they basically mean charge okay so in other words what they're saying is that in both cases the charge was the same okay so having that what should we think of so let's say q in the case of um, ag is equal to q in the case of au so basically this is what they mean so having said this what is q q is equal to the quantity of n multiplied by f okay n multiplied by an f n meaning the number of moles and f meaning the faraday is constant so basically this n is not necessarily the number of moles of um au or ag but these are number of moles of electrons so how do we find those so for ag we know that it's ag plus actually so we know that it has only one electron that it was losing okay so you have data on the left hand side and you have insufficient data on the right hand side and this is where they want us to find um, the electrons actually for gold because if we know the number of electrons then we would know even the number of um, the oxidation state or the oxidation number so in the case of um, ag we are having um, number of electrons being multiplied by the mass divided by the molar mass multiplied by faraday's constant so basically what we have just done here is that we have um, actually interpreted the n that is on top so yeah the number of electrons can be found by multiplying the number of electrons in the equation or in the stoichiometric um, ratio multiplied by mass over molar mass of um, the ag so the same thing applies on the other side of the equation so we're having the e being multiplied by the mass divided by the molar mass multiplied by faraday's constant okay so at this stage since the faraday's constant is the same you can do well to cancel it because i don't like working with large numbers okay so don't fall into the pitfall of trying to cancel the electrons no they're not equal neither are the masses equal so yeah we do the replacements now so we've been given and we said the electron for uh, ag is one and the mass given for ag is 2.64 divided by 107 point um let's say point six no point yeah point six let me just check it mm. <clears throat> okay it's point seven point eight seven okay so let's make it one zero seven point eight seven okay this is being equal to 
um, the E that we are looking for multiplied by the mass given for um, AU divided by the molar mass. Let me check the molar mass of AU. That's 196.97. Okay, 196.97. Okay, so all in all, this is what we are having. Okay, this is what we are having. Then, from there, we just do simple mathematics and try to arrive at the answer. So, basically, if we uh, punch this through, we can just say that um, so this one goes there, this one goes down here, okay? So which means that on top, we're going to have a 2.64 multiplied by um, 196.97, 196.97, everything being divided by 107.87 multiplied by 1.61 and this is going to be equivalent to the number of electrons okay so let's just punch this in through on the calculator and see what we're going to have so we're having a 2.64 being multiplied by let me check um in 196.97 um let me say equals then divided by um what was that that was 107 okay 107.87 multiplied by 1.61 okay so we're having a 2.99 okay and therefore um 2.99 is equal to the electrons okay so therefore e is actually equivalent to um three Okay, so this is our final answer. So from the question, basically what we're saying is that um, the oxidation state of gold is actually 3.